Hello, Graham here. It's been a while since I've posted any off-grid videos um, regarding our solar power up here at the cabin, so I thought I would take you through all the upgrades I've made. Looks like we've got a nuclear sub coming through. How's that for timing? And over here is where the solar panels are. I've uh, built a new stand for them and I've got them out in a clearing to hopefully get more more sunlight during the day. Over the last couple days I've just finished installing the panels on this new stand I built last summer. It's made out of, I don't know, inch and a half uh, or two inch galvanized piping that I found up here on the property. The two middle panels, one's a new power and I don't know the other one. Um, the two outside panels are 100 watt Renegies. The middle ones are around 125 watts. This is showing the back of the solar panels. Um, the two larger panels, since they're matched for wattage pretty close, they're in series and the two Renegies on the outside are in series and then those are in parallel and that produces 24 volts. And I'm running, I don't know, 40 feet of 8 gauge wire to the cabin. Uh, the reason why I went to 24 volt output for the panels is that uh, you have less of a, a current drop or voltage drop on the wires since I am running pretty long wires. Okay, we're now in the cabin. Um, right here you'll notice um, a chest freezer that I converted to a fridge. I have another video that you can watch showing how I did that. I'm going to take you over to an electrical closet that I keep all the electrical stuff in. Okay, so what we've got here, the cables from the solar panels feed into the outback. That's a Flexmax 60. And uh, to the right of that you'll see I've got a solar panel disconnect switch and a inline fuse. And on the left side I've got some Square D um, those are QO series, I believe, which are actually good for off-grid because they're rated up to, I believe, 48 volts DC. And then next to that I've got a disconnect switch. Um, and those disconnect switches and inline fuses you can find on Amazon pretty cheap. Right here I have a remote switch that turns on the 2000 watt inverter that's uh, mounted down by the batteries. I also have my old 600 watt inverter that I leave hooked up for like the TV and stuff like that. Alright, we're back outside and I made a bit of a mess in the yard. I buried the solar cable. Um, I highly recommend buying the real stuff. It's a UL approved and for moisture and ultraviolet light, which is sunlight. And uh, that goes up into here into a combiner box, which I saw somebody else on a YouTube video show how to do that. And then down here is the ground from the batteries. I've got a uh, copper rod going into the earth. And here is the battery box under the house. Uh, I would much prefer to have the batteries in the cabin, but I haven't quite figured out how to vent them properly yet. Once I get that figured out I'll probably move the batteries up into the house. And here we are in the battery box. These are four six volt deep cycle golf cart batteries I bought at Costco. They're interstate batteries. Um, so far so good. I just installed them last year. They're quite a bit cheaper than Trojans, so let's, but the specs are about the same. They weigh about the same, so I assume the lead plates are pretty equivalent, so we'll see how that that works out in the future. And in the battery box I have my Pro Watt 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter for the fridge and um, any other electrical appliances I may not want to use in the kitchen. And you notice I've got that fused um, and this one here is the fuse that goes from the battery to the house and another disconnect switch that shuts off all the batteries. Um, and I'm using four gauge wire on everything down here, so that's some pretty hefty stuff. I thought I'd show what I use the uh, solar power for. We've got a couple of 12 volt fluorescent lights over there in the kitchen, and that's an LED one on the ceiling. We've also got um, this chest freezer that I converted to a fridge. 
In the living room we have a LED light. Same with over the dining room table. And the most important thing is the stereo. It's a little 20 watt uh, 12 volt amplifier and hardly draws any current. And here we have a flat screen TV and a DVD player uh, to watch TV shows at night time. Uh, very low, low wattage devices. We also need electricity to run this pump that supplies water from the rainwater tank to the rest of the house. Well that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it or maybe learned a little bit. Um, if you have any questions feel free to email me and until next time.